So, this is also a, uh, a file that contains parts of different images. The top few lines are one image, then there is a piece of garbage, then this portion is also one image. Uh, this is a bigger chunk, it appears, and this is garbage. And you can already see those, uh, how do you call those, those di diagonal lines, and here as well. Um, and you see also that because th these patterns are different here than here, that these are encoded with uh, different parameters. Now uh, we can see if we can repair this larger chunk. And um, to do so, I'm first going to get rid of the data preceding it. And I'm gonna guess I will remove 50,000 bytes. Now you can even see more clearly these, these diagonal patterns uh, here as well. Uh, it looks like we did 50,000. It looks like we can do 500,000. That may be a tad too much. Uh, 450 then. Okay. I'm going to uh, reload it. And then I'm going to see if I can uh, fig figure out the uh, correct uh, number of MCUs per scan line. And you basically do this by uh, modifying the header and uh, sort of convince it that uh, we need a smaller resolution. So each time I change this value, you see the, the pattern change. Maybe it helps if I remove some more bytes from the start of the image. because there's still some stuff there from a different file. I was removing it from uh, the incorrect byte position. But this looks like we kind of nailed it. to reduce the width of the file some more. So and now you see that 
these diagonal lines were the result of the incorrect resolution and before we removed the data we had uh, another part of a file with again a different resolution so this picture needs some TLC still but it kind of gives the idea of uh, So basically, we, we now carve one image out of a uh, file containing several images. Anyway, that's the idea. And then to get rid of the stuff in the bottom, we do not only tell it it's the, uh, it's got the width wrong, but also the height wrong. Well, uh, something like that.